Hey everyone, FPS Chazel here, and today I'm going to tell you to never ever cavitate. So we all know that cavitating is bad. Uh, maybe we, we know it makes noise, we know it makes these little bubbles that make noise, but how much noise does it actually make? So that is what I wanted to find out with this video. Actually, it was a side shoot off of another video. My friend Tambrello and I were determining uh, the ranges to uh, last detection of a contact, or how far you could detect someone passively finally popped into my head it was like I remembered that I wanted to test you know how much of a difference this cavitation makes and boy does it make a lot so as you can see our LA is uh, running at flank speed uh, at, a, at, a, at a depth sufficient that it does not cavitate so if we minimize this up here and take a look at our sonar now as the LA is going to start cavitating here if you watch the top right come back over and look at the narrowband and see just how much that signal went up in color. It went from a very dark blackish red to being very bright red. I'm switching over here to the broadband to try and see if I can find any um, any uh, broadband signal there, but it's a little too far away. So, I mean, look at that. You can see a second line here, too. Let's take this back out, and you can see a third line now. This guy is at 15 nautical miles away is 10 to 15 nautical miles away this LA from me and you can see three lines going at flank just going from one line to three lines at this distance utterly nuts so don't don't let don't <laughs> let me ever catch you cavitating unless you know you really got to like running away from a torpedo or something so to put some numbers to this as a guepard with an LA running flank you will lose contact on the toad. It's almost 17 nautical miles, but if you're cavitating, the Gepard will not lose contact until 31 nautical miles. That's almost twice the range and almost four times, you know, the circle around the sub that someone can detect that in. So avoid cavitating at all costs. So what is cavitation really? Let's, uh, a while ago, I recorded a video of a pot of water boiling uh, because this shows how loud cavitation actually is. Cavitation is the rapid forming and collapse of bubbles under... It can happen under two different circumstances. It, it happens in your pot of water as it's boiling on the stove, as you'll see here in a second. Uh, what happens is you get little cracks in the bottom of the pot where water can get a lot hotter because it's in a very small, a very small area. So you can get water that boils down there. But then as soon as the water goes ahead, and hits the main body of the boiling water, of the uh, the pot of water there, the, the bubble collapses because it returns back to a temperature that is less than boiling temperature. The The same thing happens on a ship's propeller blade, but by a different mechanism. So with the, the, point of, the pot of boiling water, you get the surge in boiling from a spike in temperature increase, but with the propeller blade, you get it from a sharp drop in pressure. So the lower the pressure, the lower the boiling point of water. So at the, at the leading edge of a propeller as it's flying through the water, you get low pressure, which causes bubbles to pop, and or which causes bubbles to form. And as soon as those bubbles reach the main body of the ocean, once again, they reach normal pressure and they collapse. So that is what causes cavitation here. So as we, as you may be able to hear now in the background, we have, well, we have cavitation going on in this pot. There's bubbles that are forming in the cracks and as soon as they hit the main body they're popping and you can see that and it's making a whole hell of a lot of noise it's very noisy so just by looking at this you can get a sense for how loud cavitation is so thanks for watching everyone i hope uh, you enjoy that video uh, remember never cavitate unless you're actually unless you're really like trying to run away from a torpedo if a uh, say a helo or an airplane has a fix in your position try and crawl away as fast as possible without cavitating at one point i want to try and make uh, some cavitation functions so what that'll be is uh i'll figure out at what depth how fast you can go without cavitating for a few boats and uh, i'll publish that at some point so thanks for watching everyone see you guys later have a good one and as always good hunting